So jumping back to PowerPoint, to begin creating a template from this blank presentation, we'll need to jump over to a different view, our slide master view. So clicking on the view tab and in your master views group, you should see a button called slide master. Click that and that will open your slide master view. Now what you are seeing here are all of the different masters and layouts within the blank presentation template that comes with PowerPoint. These layouts should look very familiar. In fact, just to show you, if I close the master view and go to the home tab to that layout dropdown, here are all of the same layouts that you'll find from that master view. So these layouts are determined from the presentations or the templates slide master. They decide what and how many layouts you see here. So if you wanna change what presenters see or what choices they have in this window, you'll need to adjust those layouts from your master view. So skipping back over to that view. Now, before we start changing what this template looks like, I'd like to explain the difference between a slide master and slide layouts. Over here, you will find a slide hierarchy where the top level slide or the topmost slide represents the slide master for all of its subordinate layouts below. In other words, the slide master controls the background, color, fonts, effects, placeholder sizes, and positioning. For example, jumping to the actual slide master, the very top, if I were to change, let's say, the font, let's change that to, to Homa, and let's change the color of that and maybe make it bold. Notice as soon as I make those changes, all subsequent layouts underneath that slide master, wherever you have a title placeholder, those title placeholders will match the formatting on the slide master. So if you want to make sweeping style changes across all of your slides, changing the slide master is the way to go. But let's say you want to make a style change for just one layout. Well, PowerPoint allows you to make overrides or edits to individual layouts as well. So if I wanted to go down here to this title only slide and change the color or the size of that font, I can change that. And then those changes are only for that one slide layout. All slides in the presentation that use this layout will look like this. Now, one more example. In the case of graphics or logos or things like drawn shapes, if I insert, for example, the company logo for Chicagoland Fish, once I place it on the slide master, that image will appear on every single slide layout below. But if I don't want that logo or that image or that drawn shape to appear on one particular layout, from that layout with that selected, if I go to my slide master tab on my ribbon and check this box right here, hide background graphics, PowerPoint will then move any graphic elements on the slide master from this one slide. So if you ever want to remove an image from one specific layout and notice you can't click on or select that image, it's probably on your slide master and this is the checkbox you want to check. So that's kind of a quick explanation of the difference between a slide master and slide layouts. And now we've got that done. Let me just undo those individual changes. And I am going to go back up and design a quick, simple template for Chicagoland Fish. And don't worry too much about following along with everything I'm doing here. I have separate lessons dedicated to everything you will see from inserting pictures or logos to adjusting text or inserting and editing shapes. But I'm gonna re-add that logo, that little fish logo, to the bottom left-hand corner of my slide. And let's say I want that fish jumping out of water. Well, let's see, I can insert a rectangle shape and See, maybe remove the outline, change the color, make sure it's a bright, brilliant blue. And I want it to look like waves, so I'm going to right click and edit points. And making these points. 
going to make some quick adjustments to make them look like waves. And send that to the background, maybe resize. And I'm going to pause the video and finish making a few minor adjustments. I'll see you in a few minutes and talk about other things that you can do with slide layouts. So now that I've made some quick changes to the template, let's say I want to create a different look for presenters to choose from. Well, in PowerPoint 2013, you still have the ability to create multiple slide masters. So here's what I have right now with the little fish jumping out of water, but if I wanted to create another look, I can simply insert another slide master from my slide master tab in slide master view. So clicking on that, beneath the original one I created, you'll see another blank one that you can design however you like. So very quickly, I'm going to make a few changes to this master. And there we go, now we have another look for users to choose from. But that's not all you can do in terms of slide choices. So in addition to what you see here, if I wanted to add another layout, I can go to that Slide Master tab and choose Insert Layout. And PowerPoint will create another sample layout where I can go through and add individual elements to really customize what users can add placeholder-wise. So jumping back to the Slide Master tab in the Master Layout group, you'll see this Insert Placeholder drop-down menu. And from there, you can choose what kind of placeholders to place on this one slide or this layout. So if I wanted to make a picture layout, I can choose a picture placeholder and draw that placeholder anywhere on that slide. Likewise, if you want to add other elements, you can add content placeholders, text placeholders, chart, table, smart art placeholders, media, and online image placeholders. But I'm just going to add another text placeholder off to the right of that picture. And any changes that you make to individual placeholders on a layout slide will be updated from presentation view. So if I were to remove things like the bullet points from this text placeholder, so going to the Home tab, turning off that bulleted list style. When I close my Slide Master view, returning to Normal view, and go to that Layout dropdown, you can see my custom layout right here. There it is. Now I do want to point out another thing. In that Layout dropdown, there's my custom layout, and notice its name. It's called Custom Layout. Well, you do have the ability to change the name of any layout that you see in PowerPoint. So jumping back to that Slide Master view, here's the slide we just created. From the Slide Master tab, you can click on Rename and type in whatever name you like. So I'm going to title this Picture and Text. And clicking Rename, closing that master view and going back to that layout drop down you can see that that one slide is now called picture and text. Now if you ever decide that there's a layout in here that you don't want people to use you can always delete that layout from your slide masters. So going back to view slide master let's say for some reason I don't want them using the section header. Well selecting that slide from the Slide Master tab, I can click on that Delete button or press Delete on my keyboard to remove that layout as an option. You can also remove certain elements from individual layouts this way. If you don't want a title on a slide, unchecking title will remove that title. Likewise, if you don't want them using footers, you can remove those footers here. If you ever decide you want one of those elements back, simply check that box again and PowerPoint will bring that placeholder back. And that is a quick overview with what you can do with slide masters and layouts in PowerPoint 2013.